So welcome to this edition of How to Fix It Yourself with Dave and Dave. Today we're going to show you how to deal with a capless fuel tank when you're trying to put an additive in. Now, the capless fuel tanks, as you can see, has a kind of a, a block right here, a metal block. And so you can see with pushing on my finger uh, that it just doesn't go anywhere here. Now I'm pushing with the regular funnel, and you can see that the regular funnel isn't going in. Now the issue is that you have two little clips on either side here. One is on this side, one is on that side, and you have to have both of them pressed at the same time. Now the reason they do this is to keep you from accidentally putting diesel fuel in your fuel tank because the diesel fuel nozzle is smaller than a regular fuel nozzle. And so if you try and put a diesel fuel nozzle in here, it'll just block it. It'll give you a good hint that you've got the wrong kind of gas you're putting in your car. So what if you want to put in a fuel additive? Okay, you, well, you know, it's blocked like that, so you can't really do it. So I'm going to show you three ways of putting in a uh, fuel additive. And, you know, some are better than others. But, you know, we'll show you at least, you know, a couple of different ways. So the best way to do it is to use a special funnel that uh, has the same diameter as the fuel funnel. And when you put it in, it pushes those two clips. And you can kind of hear it, click those clips. And then it opens that and you can push that in and then add your uh, fuel. Now, many cars, when you buy them, will have a one of these in with the tool accessories that you come like with the, you know, for changing your tires and things like that. And, but many of them have been lost or misplaced and so you don't have that. You can go down to an auto parts store and buy one of those. So that's the ideal way. However, if you're stuck and you really don't have access to one of these and you need to do something right away, there's a couple of different tricks. So one of the tricks you can use is to get two screwdrivers and press on one side with one screwdriver, press on the other side with the other, oops, slipped. This isn't the easiest way, but once you get it open, and just about had it there, as you can see, it can be a little bit problematic to get both screwdrivers to push at the same time. But if you just be patient and just kind of keep at it, you can eventually get both of those clipped at the same time. You can leave your screwdriver in there and then you can kind of work your funnel in there and add your material. Of course, if you pull your screwdriver out, it's gonna relatch again. So this is kind of a quick and dirty way of doing it. Now I'll show you one other way. It's not something that I would expect very many people to be able to do, but it's kind of a little bit clever. So the other way you can do this is if you have a good tool supply set, you've got some snap ring pliers, you can get in there with your snap ring pliers and uh, go ahead and open that up and then stick your screwdriver down in there and it goes a lot quicker and a lot easier. But then a lot of people do not have snap ring pliers. But those are three ways that you can get into your uh, fuel tank to add a fuel additive or if you run out of gas to be able to put uh, additional gas in. Unless you have a um, car uh, service company like AAA or one of the ones that go with some of the insurance companies that's going to come out and put gas in for you, they will have the right funnel for doing that. But I recommend you go out and get the right funnel. We'll have a link to that in our description below. So you can uh, go ahead and go to Amazon and get yourself one so you can have a just in case funnel if you need it. I hope this has been useful and helpful and explained why the, uh, these capless work the way they do and what's going on when you're trying to put a fuel additive in one of these.